If you're here for one of our normal Sunday videos, you might not know that we've been vlogging for the last 28 days. We're supposed to end it on Wednesday, and we don't really have anything going on, so those might be a little boring, but I'll think of something. See, I have a problem. And if I'm being honest, it's something that's been keeping me up at night. I'm completely out of ideas. See, Lisa and I are content creators, which means every single week we have to bring you something that hopefully entertains you and also gives you some good information. I talked about it in a previous vlog that Lisa and I have tried a lot of different things with our videos and nothing's really worked. I mean, they've worked, but they haven't worked. You know what I mean? Like I said in the very first episode of the vlog, sitting in front of an aquarium like I'm doing right now and talking about something to do with fish keeping just isn't doing it for me anymore. And I am desperate to find a new way of doing things. And I think I found it. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but my entire life I've been told that I have a gift. The gift of storytelling. It's something that I inherited from my father. He was a master storyteller. He had a story that was absolutely legendary in my family, and every single time we would get together, we would beg him to tell that story. It involved eating Mexican dip one night and it not agreeing with his system the next day, if you know what I mean. The climax of the story was him standing in line with like 20 people waiting to pay the power bill. This was obviously way before we did everything online. And while he was waiting in line, well, he had to fart. He let out the tiniest little SBD and it cleared out the entire building. The best part of the story was to hear him describe the man that was standing in front of him that went, Jesus Christ! To hear him tell that story was a masterclass in storytelling. I heard him tell it a thousand times and it was funnier every single time. And fortunately for me, he passed that superpower off onto me. At least so I've been told. My dad passed away in 1997, and with that, he passed the mantle off onto me. And the story that my family begs me to tell every time we get together is one that involves me eating pizza at the Dough Roller in Ocean City, Maryland on spring break at 10 a.m. in the morning after drinking the night before. And I was desperate to find a bathroom. It was one of the worst experiences of my life, and I still have nightmares about it to this day. I promise I have more than fart and poop stories, but this is just the kind of weird stuff my family likes hearing about. I'm telling you right now, even if I was to be on my deathbed and you wanted to cheer me up, a good fart story will do it every time. Anyway, let me get back to acting like an adult. What I want to do is bring that gift of storytelling to fish keeping. I started keeping fish back in 1993, and in the 30 years between then and now, believe me, I've got a ton of stories to tell. But they're not just stories about experiences. I want to take it a step further than that. Let me just give you an example. Hey guys, it's your boy John, and as you can see, I got this new heater, it's from Aquatop, and it's made of titanium, so you know it's super strong, ow. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and install it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how I feel about it. So if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, and also don't forget to comment, like, and click the join button. 
Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. Don't forget to join my Patreon and also buy my merch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it, you beautiful bastards. But before we do that, let me take an opportunity to thank today's video sponsor. It's from a mobile video game that I've never played, but I'm gonna act like I love it so that I can make sure I get my $100 paycheck. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm pretty crazy when it comes to Oscars. These goofy, googly-eyed hogs grabbed a hold of my heart back in 1993, and they haven't let go since. I know it's cliche at this point, but these fish are the closest thing you'll find to water puppies. They greet you when you walk into the room, they'll eat out of your hand, and you can easily tell when they're happy or sad. But there's a dark side to these fish. I had a friend back in the day that had three Oscars just like I do, but his were in a 125 gallon tank. He had two giant glass heaters in there to keep him warm, and one day he got home from work and all three Oscars were belly up. When he went to get him out of the tank and his hand touched the water, he got a little bit of a shock. It turned out one of his Oscars broke his glass heater because he was banging it around like a toy, and when he did that, it released an electrical current into the water, basically frying everything in it. Now this isn't a story of how bad glass heaters are. In fact, it's a story about how brutal Oscars can be to the things that are in their tank. But this is absolutely something that can happen. So how do we avoid this? If your answer is don't keep stupid fish like Oscars, you and I could never be friends. You're a bad person and I'll say it to your face. No, the easier way to do it would be to hide the heater behind some rocks or some driftwood just make sure that the water can still flow back there, otherwise it'll be completely useless. Or if your tank's like mine and you have a sump, just put it down there. But if none of those options will work for your situation, I'd recommend trying something like this. This is a titanium heater. It's made by Aquatop and it's pretty much indestructible. Sorry guys. So tell me and be honest, which one of those two videos would you rather watch? If you said the first guy, you're a much bigger nerd than I thought you were. And yeah, I'll say that to your face too. I've been uploading videos to YouTube for 11 years now. And believe me when I tell you the, hey guys, I got a new heater videos, just aren't doing it for me anymore. I wanna come up with a completely different angle, get creative, and most importantly, have fun. My job is to basically do one thing, and that's educate you about this hobby that I love so much. If I do my job correctly, you will get the most irreplaceable currency there is on YouTube, and that's value. If you watch one of my videos and you receive value, which is either entertainment or education, or maybe I put a smile on your face, I'm not gonna need to beg you to do things like follow me on Instagram, buy my merch, do this, do that, support, support, support. That's just gonna happen naturally. Why? Because I gave you something. So Lisa and I have a new mission for this channel, which is to bring you value. Value in the way of entertainment or education, or maybe just put a smile on your face. I know I'm getting repetitive at this point, but that's what it is. That's what we wanna do. And I believe we can do it, and we can do it in a fun and creative way. And I am so excited about it. Vlogging for 31 days has taught me a lot of things, but two of the big things are, one, vlogging for 31 days in a row is absolutely insane, and two, is having my thumb up my ass and being so uptight about every little thing about my channel is no fun at all, and it doesn't bring value to anyone. The vlog was super stressful and difficult, but it has completely re-energized Lisa and I, and we can't wait to get started. I hope you're as excited about it as we are, and I hope you'll come along the ride with us. 